Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This general problem says that a student is standing on the ground and throws a ball straight up. After it leaves the, the student's hand, it has a speed of 15 meters per second when the hand is two meters above the ground. And we need to figure out how long is it in the air for. So when we draw a picture of this, it's really helpful because the student, it says we're starting off with the ball two meters above the ground and then the ball gets thrown up, and then the initial velocity here, we're not sure what it is, but we do know that the final velocity for this half of the ball in the air is zero meters per second. It's gonna stop for just a split second, and then it will start to come back down, and we know the initial velocity for this half is the exact same here, so it's still at zero meters per second. And then it's going to continue falling down another two meters. So the y final is going to be negative two meters. We're saying that right here is the y initial, and we'll say that is zero at this point. And we don't know what the final velocity is down here, but we're going to be using kinematic equations to figure out the time. The only thing acting on the ball is gravity, so the acceleration when it's in the air is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. It's negative because since it's free fall, the gravity is pointing down, and we need to solve for time. And now the equation that we'll be using to solve for the time is y final is equal to y initial plus the initial velocity times the time plus one half of the acceleration times the time squared. I'm going to rearrange this and we can simplify the initial y as zero. We said it was y equals zero over here. So now let's subtract over y final to this side of the equation and change it up a little bit. So what we're gonna have is zero is equal to one half acceleration times t squared plus v initial times time. And since we subtracted over y final, we'll minus y final there. And so those of you that have watched some of the other videos, you can recognize what's going on and you're already kind of sighing. But what we're going to do is just use a quadratic formula here because what we have is zero is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. T in this case, of course, is the x. And our values that we have are, let's come down here, we have zero is equal to one half times Acceleration in this case is gravity. So we have negative 9.8 meters per second squared times t squared plus the initial velocity they tell us, oh, whoops, I put that in wrong. So we do know, they tell us in the problem, it's not a question mark, it is 15 meters per second. Sorry if that threw you off. So the initial velocity is 15 meters per second and that's multiplied by t, and then we're going to subtract a y final, but in this case, the y initial is zero and the y final is negative two, so we'll have a negative two meters, which will essentially turn this into a positive two. So our a will be a negative 4.9, b is going to equal a positive 15, and our c will be a positive two. So when we come to my favorite calculator, we just go second polysolver, and there we are right there, ax squared plus bx plus c. Our a is negative 4.9, b is 15, and our c is 2. So that gives us our x values of 3.2 rounded and a negative 0.13. So we know since we can't have a negative time, our final answer for how long the ball is in the air is 3.2 seconds.